Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Rebecca Vargas. Congress is taking action after a new study reveals surprising results about our food. We'll discuss. And I'm Don Brennan or Donnie Be Fit. And part of being fit is controlling stress, especially at work. Reportedly, you do get stressed out of work. And today, we'll learn some yoga stretches you can do at the office. I'm Bo Beth. The big summer blockbusters are in theaters. And our movie critic is here to tell us about the hits and the misses. And I'm Linda Carson. It is Shark Week, and we'll tell you where you can sink your teeth into it here on the Sun Coast. All that and more right now on Sun Coast to you. Welcome to the show. Stephanie has the day off, so I have the honor of being in her seat today. And Donnie joins us. Donnie, be fit. Who am I filling in for? For me, I guess, kind <laughs> of. <laughs> so they, they get the I'm morning team. I'm excited that you guys are here with us. Thank we you. We ought to change okay. seats. And I could be both Beth and you could be Linda. <laughs> well, why not, Linda? I'll just switch it all up and confuse everybody. And, of course, today is Wednesday, which is a really fun day because we have Chef Judy in uh, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She's Ooh. the absolute best, so that means the best of on Wednesday. Judy, you have a full array. Tell us about it. Ta-da. It's the best fish sandwiches on the Sun Coast. You know, we're coming into the July 4th holiday, and we're thinking about whether we're both or we're going to be watching the fireworks by the beach. I've got them all. Some new fish sandwiches from Felipe Creek Oyster Bar and some of our standard favorites from a Across the Sun Coast, all here for you guys today. Wow, it makes me feel wonderful. like I'm on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you just came back from vacation. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I can wants go right to stay back. on vacation. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Judy. We can't wait to try it. We need to tell you that we're pretty much on every social media platform. And Linda Carson, of course, is all about it. Linda, I hear you no. are all I'm about the flower crown and the uh, the filters on Snapchat. Yes, His you. Sna yes. Yeah, Linda's on Our Snapchat. Our producer Joey is showing me how <laughs> to do all is. that. I like that. <laughs> I'm not even on Snapchat. That's a really like good a look filter. younger. I, I love it. I should use that for my Facebook page because it makes me look like 20 years younger. Little, you know, if you can have cookie. a Snapchat for real and a filter walking around yeah. with a filter, yes, that would be yes. great. Wouldn't That's that be wonderful? Next. You could pick a really fun. We should do the dog one on you next because that was the really dog. One? Yeah, when you open your mouth, you look the at tongues, me and you think, oh, we no, should put a what? dog on her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, for fun pictures of everybody on the Sun Coast View, add us at my Sun Coast View on Snapchat. You're going to want to do that. Well, now it's time for our first hot topic this morning. And Congress is currently fighting yet another political battle. But unlike many of the recent topics to hit Washington that have left political parties divided, this issue is something that we all can agree on. How much food do we really waste? Studies have shown that nearly 40% of all food produced in the U.S. is wasted or thrown out. Now, this costs the average American family $1,500 every year. Part of the issue is reluctance by stores to either donate their food to shelters at the fear of being sued for liability. And then there's the confusing sell-by, best-by, and use-by labels on our food. Congress members say that a law passed 20 years ago protects companies from food donation liability. That many of those labels often refer to freshness and not necessarily to expiration dates. Okay. I knew We're not going to try and shame ago. you, but do you throw out the food? I do not. I use it, but everyone thinks I'm also crazy because I will eat anything. So, um, <laughs> like the milk will say, you know, Best Buy. I smell it smell and test, test. it. Yeah. Exactly. I no, don't smell throw test. anything away unless I test it. Because right. even in small doses, yeah. and I know I'm crazy. So even in small doses, it's not going to do anything. If it Poison smells won't bad, hurt you true. in small doses. <laughs> Worst case scenario, and I'm going to get grossed out by this. You get diarrhea. It's good for your ingestion. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, she sees I, the bright side of everything. That's the worst case scenario. Well, but no, I because I always think they're trying to 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 make money. Make you buy something yeah. new. So I always test, like I smell my milk or pour it out before, or you know stuff like that before yeah. I actually throw them away. Well, I have found cans in my closet that date back to 1999. Oh my! Uh -huh. You should we, throw that away. We were okay, looking for a can of beans. Don't I, sugar, I wish I'd known. I would have brought them this morning. Don't <laughs> test I mean, that. they may not be ruined, right, Bobette? Right. You they, can they smell really them and taste not. them. Don't test that, Linda. <laughs> Don, what about you? I feel like you have a pantry full of unused. No, I actually don't have a, a lot of stuff. But most important to me. And always since I was a kid was milk is that it I would never even drink milk anywhere from my house because I couldn't trust it but even you know milk you, you, even in, before the date it could be a couple days old depending on how it's been mm -hmm. stored and you yeah. smell it I'm like oh wow yeah, yeah. so I you know it, it all depends but I'm pretty finicky about stuff that I eat like but like Bobeth it's yeah. kind of the smell test type smell thing. test yeah. we well, you know I think we should go to the expert on this Judy 
<laughs> You're the okay, food expert. So here's what should the we thing. do? Dairy, things that are very perishable. Dairy, meats, chicken, uh-uh, three days is your rule. Okay. If, if Bobath, a small amount that may not taste bad, if it is bad, it will get you very sick. So the Linda, I'm coming over, we're getting rid of all those cans. <laughs> we can even donate them, we'll make crafts with them. We'll get Bobath to make crafts with them. Spices, don't ever save them more than a year, because it's not that they go bad, they just have no seasoning. But be very careful. They're, I can understand if the flour says it expires and you keep it two more months, but things like dairy and meats and chicken and cold cuts, be very, very, very careful. 24 hours on leftovers. Okay. Yes, oh, thank okay. you. Now, do I don't want to get anyone sick, but I'm telling you, like, I'm from a third world country. A lot of the luxuries <laughs> that you guys have here, we don't have. Yeah. But you so, also and have, we never got sick. Digestive wise, you also have a different balance that's than we true. Americans have, and that's mm -hmm. why sometimes we have a problem when we travel. Yeah. So we have to remember that as well. So Judy, we don't talked do about what this I do. before. Don't get I sick. found bugs in my spices no. because I've we, had them so yeah. long. Yeah, yeah we, we have. And I said, you know, Linda, like, go populate the world sprinkle your oregano around your grass no. let them go but you know we live in Florida too so flour needs to be really kept in your refrigerator because of those little bugs now yeah. I know for me you know being living alone a lot of times I was buying a lot of things and they were going bad right away so <laughs> yes do you think they people do this I mean with the Costco's and the Sam's out there and all of this bulk buying do you think maybe that's why we're wasting some of our food you can't help but because some of the packages are so big and if it's yeah. just you and it's a good deal yeah. And you're yeah. thinking, and then you uh, end up you have it keeping for, it forever? For me, for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do not eat those beans. Don't Linda. eat the beans. We're donating. The, no, we're not. We're just throwing we're them not out. Throwing they're, them good, out. they're good for your heart. Donate yeah. them to the bugs outside. <laughs> your indigestion. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of wastefulness, Americans are guilty of wasting another precious resource and in record numbers. This is pretty shocking. A study recently found that Americans are wasting their vacation days. Nearly 658 million vacation days were wasted in 2015 alone. Alone. This not only is due to workers reporting that they fear a mountain of work when they return, but also because two-thirds get mixed messages, are encouraged not to use vacation days, or they just don't hear anything. I don't know. What do you guys think? 658 million. That's a lot. Uh, I've gone vacation years days. at times and not used all my vacation yeah. days. But why? I just... I you I don't, don't know because you can't find the right time them. or other people are on vacation when you want to go right. so then you put it off and then you end up not being able to use it and you can't carry them over in certain companies so mm. you end up not doing it or a lot of people feel invaluable but they feel like they can't leave their work because something will go wrong without them which well, is I worry no, about that I'm not invaluable yes, I've seen more you people are. fired during vacations uh, yeah. than any other time You think time. that might be it because yeah. they decided to go away on a vacation and listen to No the no time no and let them I go. think they just take that opportunity to find somebody better well, yes, wow. exactly. and so That's why people I, don't go I have a defense system. I always leave stories for when I'm on vacation so they won't bring somebody in to fill in oh. for me and find out that person is better. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I, a I good know idea. That is smart, Linda. I will be gone week after next, but you'll see me on the air on the 6 o'clock news because I'm leaving but stories. But you're also a hard worker. Well, <laughs> I'm just not taking a chance of them filling <laughs> that spot when I leave it <laughs> for a few minutes. I need to learn that. No, I, 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 for several years in a row, I will not you know, use all my vacation because of the same reason. You're worried that when mm -hmm. you're out, someone will take your place. I feel like that a little bit too. Or that you're just kind of, it, it's not the right thing to do. You want to show that you want to work really hard. Yeah. So you're concerned that maybe, uh, well, they think that I'm kind of lazy because I'm taking a couple days off, even though it's allowed. It's, yeah, even <laughs> though it's your vacation. Yes. Yeah, I know. But the, the w most famous story in the history of sports is Wally Pipp was the first baseman for the Yankees. Very good, way back in the 20s. But he got hurt. He was out a day. Lou Gehrig filled in for him and played like 18 years straight Stop without it. ever coming out of a game. So See? Wally Pipp, he got pipped. Oh, well, you don't want to get picked. So you can't take it. No, if anybody is, right. if anybody is brave, of, uh, brave enough, though, I think this might be a good option for you to quickly use them up. Here might be the way to do it. Adult camps. They've become a multi-million dollar industry. Camp is just not for kids anymore. Adults are looking to relive their childhood, achieve a better balance, and make friends. And there aren't a lot of mandatory activities at most adult camps. One camp slogan is, quote, you're a grown-ass adult. Do what you like. <laughs> Another camp advertises play like a kid, party like a grown-up. All the camp classics, but with the twist and an open bar. What do you guys think? Would you go to something like this? No, it's like <laughs> if I'm a grown-ass adult and I do what I like, it ain't going to camp. No, <laughs> I have a lot of good memories at camp. 
It could be fun to relive I did that. Too, but that was when I was a kid and had to get up at a certain <laughs> time <laughs> and then had to go drink bone juice. Or yes. yes. <laughs> so I want to do what I want to do without all those other people around. I mix. I can see some of the benefits, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm thinking it's camp. I'm an adult. Why it kind of sounds like a cruise to me, yeah. but on land. Club man. Right? That, that wouldn't be so bad. It's an open bar. You can do what you want when you want. We have but I bet you can. You know how they had those group trips where, yeah. like, um, you know, people well, don't know each other, can sign up and go somewhere? Yeah. Maybe it's like that. I do that yeah. all the time. I go on Globus uh, tours really? of China, of Israel, so of all kinds of places. you're going to China? It's not, no. <laughs> you just go she to see to beautiful Club things. Hedonism, uh, <laughs> don't you go to Club <laughs> No, you go to see beautiful <laughs> things all together, but you're really with whoever you're with. So, uh, but I love that sort of travel. Yeah, I'm going to try that one out. Okay, so maybe we're not all about the adult yeah, camps. Yeah, not camps. No. Okay, I am about Hawaii, though, and we're going to tell you about a little bit more about oh. this. CEO, Facebook CEO, that is, Mark Zuckerberg, is back in the news. This time it's about his own privacy and it has his neighbors in a fit. Zuckerberg purchased a large oceanfront property in Hawaii and for his first renovation he's constructing a six foot tall wall around the 700 acre land. Residents say that it's not only kind of disappointing to see such a callous treatment to a landscape that oh. locals have loved for years, but that wall is quite an eyesore. <laughs> Zuckerberg spokesperson said that these walls are not uncommon in Hawaii and it's being utilized to reduce highway noise from entering his property. So that's his reasoning but for building you, his wall. But you take away the view. I know. Yes. So, you know, before, and I get it, because it's, it's a hard balance, because it is your property, right. you're paying taxes on it. But people like to see the view, and you're now taking it all for yourself. Well, yes. He thinks maybe I purchased the view, well, too. He, he well, I don't know. Did. I'm sure with his money, he did. But did Der Derek Jeter did the same thing up in St. Petersburg. They call it St. Jetersburg, his little island. Really? Now, because he built a huge wall. But part of it is their, their life, and they have no privacy. And we can't even imagine, even a little bit that we've dealt with it, how n little yeah, privacy, how imagine. people don't value their privacy yeah. at all. Yeah. And you just need that. You so. still have to respect your neighbors. You still have to respect where they're coming from and what you're doing to them. So, yeah, he can do it, but just because he has the legal right to do it is it a wrong. good idea? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I would rather see the view. I think you should go with the benefit for the, the larger group, mm -hmm. and it's a more benefit for more people. Look at it versus you. But I understand, again, it's his house. Well, whose yeah. view is he blocking? Anyone that wants to. Like, it's his property. Maybe they're they're not on his property looking well, out they're at looking the view. Across. They're going to call it what? The water, what they're is St. Jetersburg, what are they going to call this? Like Zuckerberg Island? I don't I know. I think it's Trump Zuckerberg <laughs> for the big wall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, well, it's almost happy hour around here. Ooh. So what kind of wine drinker are you? It's always a good time to talk about it. Red, white, rosé. Well, there's a new option now, so get ready to pour a glass of blue wine. A Spanish huh. group has introduced this new shade of color for its wine. The color comes from a natural dye found in grape skin and indigo. The company hopes that this gimmick will not only entice new drinkers to try out the unusual wine, but also bring in drinkers who are often put off by the snobbiness of wine culture. I don't know if it's snobby. So I just blue will like make wine. it not snobby. Ma yeah. It makes it cool and trendy. So <laughs> I'm worried, like, one of the reasons I don't drink red wine a lot is because it dyes your teeth. So oh, now I'm going to have blue, blue teeth. teeth. But it's, it's like the blue raspberry heart. tongue you get. I, and, and that's the sad part because I know it's good for my heart, but I don't want to drink it because I don't want to mess up my teeth. But I coffee's know that's not bad. good for your teeth either. I don't drink coffee she does for that reason. Oh, tea? I do. Do you drink tea? Yeah, but a lot of times I try to put a lot of um, creamer in it so it's so white you can't see it. <laughs> I know it's so ridiculous. So put creamer yeah. in your wine. So blue wine isn't for both that. Talking about stomach problems. I wonder if Stephanie would try it. Maybe next time we'll ask her. I would definitely try it, though. Don't get me wrong. Well, I just we try everything. It right here. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're gonna stick. She'll stick to white. I'll stick to red. Protect our teeth. All right. Well, if you're in for an, an extra dose of adorable to keep this <laughs> week going a little bit, look no further than this pair of furry star-crossed crossed lovers. We love animals. Take a look at this cat as she desperately tries to reach her friend in the pen next door, trying so hard, trying to climb over. Look how cute. We just want to be together. She finally oh. makes it over. So this is a cat and a puppy. They really do get along. Oh, look, look at, at that. how cute oh that God. is. It's like Romeo and Juliet. And look right? how happy they are. Oh, They've lived next to love. each other for so long. So the puppy didn't help at all. No, <laughs> the cat was the smart one. I think yes. the cat was the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Trying to yeah. say the dog was trying to keep her away and she kept coming. <laughs> Linda, do you love it? That reminds me of the turtle that was at Jungle Gardens. He weighed about 500 pounds and for most of his long life, he sat on a rock that he was in love with every mating really? season. 
So they put him in a pen and they got a female turtle, but every mating season that turtle would go right through the fence over to his oh. rock <laughs> and he would sit on his rock until the romantic season was over and then he'd go back home. He was so <laughs> loyal to that rock and actually it looked a lot like a turtle. It did. <laughs> and he didn't even look at the True female. True love, yes. Sure. It's, it's not all in appearance. It was, it was his reclining chair, you know. <laughs> he, he takes the... the um... he, found, he fell in love and he wasn't changing. Mm -hmm. Wow. The Rock never yeah. did anything or said anything, but I love the rock. rock. Never did either. Oh and it takes the saying, you know, your person is like a rock. It takes yeah. it takes that to another level. Love, love lasts forever. <laughs> All right, time to check in now with our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, we are doing some yoga poses, some stretches to help us relieve the stress here at work. Stay with us. Good afternoon, a nice day today. Very little shower activity, most of it well inland. A beautiful shot at KC Key, looking at the oh, time lapse since this morning around 11 o'clock up until the current time. You just see some fair weather cumulus clouds coming in on that west breeze, and for the most part, just lots of sunshine out there. A beautiful day uh, for area beaches. Currently, we have sunshine, heat index very high, 97. That's what it feels like when you factor in that humidity along with a 90 degree temperature. The winds are out of the west, southwest at 10. The pressure Holding steady basically 29.98 inches. We mentioned those showers. You can see most of the activity today east of I-75 pushing off to the northeast. That's a kind of a pattern we're going to stick around to. Looks like through the weekend, a uh, few showers along the coast are always possible during the morning. But for the time being, uh, I think a little bit more rain will be uh, in the inland areas over the upcoming days as a result of some more moisture coming back into play. We'll have more on our forecast coming up at 5 and take a look at the tropics. See you then. Welcome back. We all know the feeling when work is getting on our nerves for sure. Now, maybe you get tight in the shoulders or your neck gets stiff from holding that phone. Well, Courtney Smith and Nika Colorado from the Yoga Shack are here to show us some stretches for the workplace that are appropriate to help us feel better when work stress really strikes us. So, welcome, Courtney. This is Courtney Smith. Appreciate Hello. you coming in today. Thank now, you. It's you know, to be here. especially, you know, you're, you're sitting at your desk and you forget you're leaning over, your back gets tight, your shoulders get tight. You know, what's a, a good thing just to start out with? that I could do maybe to get loose. Yeah, so we all know people that have worked in the office and worked there all day long. Um, so we work with a lot of people like that at the Yoga Shack. So let's get started here. So I'm gonna do a simple hamstring stretch with you. So just take your right leg and you can put it up on the chair. <laughs> I've been Don't working all day. All the time I, I, like how, <laughs> I like how she smiles when she says, I know people who have worked in an office. <laughs> I'm lucky to not have to do that. So it's okay, awesome. this hurts. Can we go? Um, yes, perfect. <laughs> so you can take both your hands and start to walk your hands down as far as you can go. Like a lot this. of people Ooh, you can want me to go do that down. For you, <laughs> <laughs> some of you might be able to touch your toes. Um, some of you can go down to the shin, wherever you can reach. And how's that feel? It hurts. <laughs> yeah. Linda, Linda, can you walk your fingers down my shoulders? Uh, wait a Bend minute. down a little bit more. Oh. This may look a little weird at the workplace. <laughs> yeah, let's switch sides. Let's try the other one. See which one's easier. <laughs> Left side. All right, and just reach down. Super simple. Get your legs stretched out. You get a Nobody's going to notice this in the newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal for Don. <laughs> Perfect. Give Don a hand. Great job. Yeah. 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 Way to go. My turn. It's my turn. turn. All right. Okay, do I get yeah. my leg up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make you do that. But I do have the perfect stretch for you. Okay. So a lot of us need a good twist. So we're just okay. gonna have you take your right hand, put it on your left thigh, okay. and bring your back hand either to the back of the chair or the side of the chair, and you're just gonna look over your left shoulder. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. hey. oh, hey. I, I, I want that stretch. So you can take the other side if you want to give that a try oh, yeah. and just twist over. Oh, it's good. Hey. Nice oh, right. <laughs> you get a nice little twist. Where's her massage? I think my head is all the way. And now we need to massage your shoulder. Oh yes, remember that movie? I think my head will spin. Good job. Good job. Let's see what both that's going to do. Uh oh. All right. So yeah, what should I do? We are going to give you a nice quadriceps stretch. So Don, work the back of the leg. We're going to stretch the front of the leg. If you just want to. You can hold onto the chair, your desk, a wall, and go ahead and grab your right foot. Stand up nice and tall, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, pull the foot in. Okay. Go ahead and give that a try. 
so. Yeah, a little extra so stretch. So that was oh, right even there. there. Yeah. Oh, my. Bravo. Like, Actually, I feel harder. this. This right, feels yes, good right here. And she can and do it like, without holding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, why don't we, while she's doing that, also stretch your hamstring like I did. So why don't you do them both at the same time? Wait, she how do I do it? Making it a little bit difficult. Oh, that feels good. Then your legs are all nice and even. We got a twist over here. Everything we can do at our desk. Yeah, definitely. You don't even have to go anywhere. And doing something like that is good. Because let's say we're sitting down for several hours. Mm -hmm. How does that help get your oh, blood circulating? Gets the blood flowing, moves it. The spine decompresses the whole time you're sitting in your chair. Gravity pulls through. So this is just loosening up all the ligaments, the muscles, getting it all flowing. Okay. Well, let's go to back to the upper body and okay. go with give your shoulder. Give her something hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're going to give her two things to do. So okay. we're going to start with a shoulder stretch standing. And we'll okay. give you a variation to make it a little bit easier. Go ahead and grab your, interlace your fingertips behind you and try to press your palms together so that your shoulder opens. So a little okay. view from the back, the side. Don't and then try it. And then oh, if you yeah. want, you can take a little heart opener. Stand oh, tall. Oh, that feels so good. And if you want to challenge yourself, take a little mm. forward fold, keeping the palms together. Mm. And this is going to elongate her spine right here and go even into the hamstrings that Donnie oh, yeah, stretched you feel out. It. If this is a little tight for you, go ahead and take a seat. How do you feel? Yeah. It, well, that's a good idea. Feels, Linda says it feels good down there. This is a little variation for you. Maybe go no ahead and look, grab it. Yeah. Look at me weird in the newsroom. And then fold it down, down here. here. <laughs> Doing nothing. Nothing nobody's out of the ordinary. Nobody's going to want to go back to work. A little variation for you if you want to sit down and try it. A little it less stress good. on your hamstring and your low back. This is good. And you guys have a new location opening up in Lakewood Ranch? Yeah, so it's east of 75 up off the university, and we are opening July 6th. So, so hope exciting. you guys can all come out and do some yoga with us. It's That's only okay. two miles from the interstate. Quick, easy traffic so on convenient. the other side. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. really great, great spot. All right. Well, oh, I'd like to not only work out at work, but now we can <laughs> take it to Lakewood Ranch with us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You guys will be pros. <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming in. Definitely in July 22nd is a big grand open yep. celebration, mm -hmm. right? All are welcome. Come have a celebration with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Excellent. Yeah. Courtney Smith and Nika Colorado, we appreciate you coming in from the Yoga Shack. And when we come back, we'll talk about Shark Week. Dice. <laughs> Don't miss the 32nd annual Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival, June 25th through July 4th. This year's festival features a kickoff party at the Sarasota Yacht Club, boats on main block party, two days of aquacross and powerboat racing off Lido Beach, bayfront fireworks, and so much more. Produced by and benefiting Suncoast Charities for Children. For festival info and VIP race day viewing tickets, visit SarasotaPowerboatGrandPrix.org. At ABC7, it's all about being here for you. Introducing ABC7 News at 7 with award-winning investigative journalist Alan Cohn. In-depth reporting and debate on important issues and stories in our community. With a featured topic of the day and a live roundtable discussion with community leaders and newsmakers. Plus a quick recap of the day's top stories and weather. ABC7 News at 7, weeknights. Now more than ever, we're here for you, Suncoast. On your TV, on your computer, on your camera, on your smartphone, on your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Fire TV. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News, on the go. At ABC7, our entire weathercast is dedicated to the Sun Coast, and now we bring it to you like never before with the all-new official Sun Coast forecast. Beach and boating forecast. The winds will be out of the northwest at 10 knots. Now, with the most advanced graphics and technology, we bring you weather where you live, pinpointing right down to your neighborhood. Zooming into the Sarasota Bayfront, the all-new official Sun Coast forecast, only on ABC7, your Sun Coast news. We're here for you. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. 
Welcome back. It is Shark Week at the Discovery Channel. The popular series first aired in 1988 and was created to correct misconceptions about sharks and help with conservation efforts. But recent shark attacks on both U.S. coasts are raising concerns about beach safety. Now, on Tuesday, shark expert and co-founder of O-Search, Chris Fisher, said he thinks the heightened fear of sharks is statistically irrational and that only a handful of people are really affected by sharks a year. OSearch.org actually tags and tracks sharks. You can log into their website and watch shark movement in real time. You can see it right there. Last year, it actually marked an all-time record high for shark attacks worldwide. Something that Fisher says is due to more water activities and better technology. I don't know. What do you think yeah, about that? Look at all those sharks. Uh, There's a, a lot. lot. We have them here, too. One year when there were a lot of shark attacks, ABC7 rented a helicopter, and we went all the way up the coast looking for wow. sharks. When we got to the, just before you go over the bridge from Longboat Key onto Coquina Beach, mm -hmm. we saw like 20, <laughs> 30 sharks. So we landed the helicopter and we ran out saying, get out of the water, get out of no. the water. The police came and they said, oh, those sharks are out there all the time. Oh, my. So, so we've got sharks around here all the time. They just don't bite. Yeah. No. I guess they say that it's technically a low percentage of people. But I mean, it's enough you say for me. Statistically, yeah, yeah, only five people get bit. But what if I'm one of the exactly. five? Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I worry about because I know it may not happen to everyone, but I have the luck that the things that don't happen to most yeah. people will happen. <laughs> I feel like that's and me I'll too. be the one missing a finger or something. I think we have that fear for a reason to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we may never get bitten, but if we've never seen a star shark, we still know to run. True, true. Well, you know what's really cool about living here on the Sun Coast, if you didn't know already, that we have renowned shark experts right here. Moat Marine Lab was actually founded by the world-famous shark lady, Dr. Eugenie Clark. Moat also boasts the only center for shark research recognized by Congress. Moat is doing research right now with Fitbit-like devices to see how sharks actually survive the stress of catch and release fishing. And if you want to even observe a shark but don't want to get too close, you can check out Moat's 135,000 gallon pool with sandbar, black tip, and nurse sharks. And I know they've worked with O-Search as well as going out mm -hmm. and tagging, tagging the them. sharks and finding out so much about them. So it is a kind of cool resource that we literally live with the It's amazing that that kind of facilities here in mm -hmm. um, Sarasota. Mm -hmm. But I like that. I like to go to the aquarium and watch, <laughs> watch it. Them. I am not the, the type to go on the ward and play with them. No Thank you. I right. think it's good we are checking to see how it affects them on, on catch and release. I think that's very psychologically yeah. damaging to a shark or a fish. Yeah, I do feel bad for them in that sense. But then you see movies like The Shallows and you're... Tum, tum, tum. Oh, like tum. Said, the She's worried about the psychological state of the fish. You're so kind, Linda. That's so mean to catch them and release them. They think they're dead. That's sad. Well, we'll find out what Mo has to say yeah, about we'll that. Yeah, we'll find out what the research If it's stressing says. them out. And for more information, there is Shark Days at Mo, so you can go to Mo. Org. And then coming up next, we've got our film critic in. He's reviewing all the movies that we need to know for the 4th of July weekend. You don't want to miss it. Thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. Hurricane season is here, and Suncoast weather can go from this to this in seconds. So when severe weather threatens, count on the official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're armed with the most advanced weather technology so that we can bring you storm warnings faster and with more detail than ever before. Plus, we focus on the Sun Coast and track storms right down to your neighborhood. On air, online, and on your mobile device, turn to the official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. On your TV, on your computer, on your camera, on your smartphone, on your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Roku. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News on the go. The ability to go to college on a Bright Future scholarship gave me personally the flexibility to chase a dream, to not have to worry about 
paying for your college education was absolutely amazing. One step better than that was to leave with no loans. I mean, to start a life, to start a job, to, to start without having a debt was, uh, was amazing. And it allowed me to get to where I'm at today. This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Florida Leather Gallery. Your support during the Grand Prix Festival makes a big difference. Loveland Center in Venice is one of five area nonprofit agencies receiving support from Suncoast Charities for Children and the Suncoast Foundation. Thanks to a recent grant from Suncoast Charities for Children, a multi-sensory room was renovated for clients with autism and other severe disabilities, and allowing program money to go directly to clients. Florida Leather Gallery is celebrating the 4th of July with spectacular savings. Take 33% off hundreds of styles, experience, freedom of choice with a wide and wonderful assortment of leathers. Freedom from worry with our impressive collection of protected leathers and freedom from guilt as we proudly offer the lowest price guaranteed. Plus, free delivery. It's all happening right now. Come celebrate with our Lexperts at our six Florida leather galleries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, uh -huh. Welcome to the Suncoast View. Let's check back in the kitchen with Chef Judy. Chef Judy, you've got the best of the fish sandwiches on the Suncoast. And you know, a lot of times we're, we think fried fish automatically. And while that's delicious, do we have other options? We have so many other options. Traditionally, there's grilled, blackened, and fried. But look what's happening at Felipe Creek Oyster Bar. I mean, they have the grilled grouper sandwich. Look at how beautiful mm. it is with cilantro aioli and a Spanish escabeche. That's a really nice way to eat a grilled grouper sandwich. And look at the salmon with the mirin marinated cucumbers. So lots of different ways. They're calling this a fish sandwich. It's more like a panini. But that beautiful salmon, you're getting all those omega-3s in there, a little bit healthy. You can even lose the bread if you need to or eat it open face. Mm. Lots more uh, options. We cannot wait to dig in. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> Thank you. Bobette. All right, summer movie season is in full swing, and there's something for everybody in the theaters. And here to help us find out what the right flick is for you to see this 4th of July weekend is ABC7 media critic Daniel Feingold. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. Uh, well, I think first I should just start off by I can't not mention Independence Day Resurgence. Uh, yeah. that, that's already that's out. That was out last week, but uh, I did see it, and I would suggest not seeing it no, this, uh, no. this 4th of July. So I, I, I go in expecting it to be dumb, which is fine. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a fan of I'm a fan of a beat, you know, beat action flick. This, yeah. was, this was so dumb and just not fun. So, right. and, and on Rotten Tomatoes, its favorability rating among uh, just viewers yeah. is worse than uh, that of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Wow. So oh it's, wow. it's uh, not favorable. But they're moving on. They're more entertaining. Though. All right. right. Yes. I need so, to do something positive. Right. Well, hopefully uh, The Legend of Tarzan will be a little bit better. That's starring Alexander Skarsgård, Margot Robbie, and uh, the great Christoph Waltz. We have a clip of that, so let us take a look. Your husband's wildness disturbs me. I need you to scream for me. Like it times up. He's Tarzan. You're Jane. He'll come for you. I mean, Christoph Waltz is so great at playing the villain. Uh, I'm sure he's a very nice guy in real life, but yeah. Uh, but we knew Tarzan could be like. This. Well, yeah. how about Tarzan? He looks pretty good to me. Yeah, Easy, Jane. Easy. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tarzan. That's not what I yeah, usually hey, think. Yeah, go, go to uh, yeah, go to the movie just to see Alexander Scar. Just yeah. to see Tarzan himself. Why not? I think he prepared a lot for that role. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that's a lot sure of uh, yeah, a lot of car, it, a lot of cardio and, and lifting. Is it apparently? Uh, the, the reviews are not uh, have not yet really poured out for that, mm -hmm. uh, which is not necessarily a bad sign. But I, I, I think it's probably gonna it's gonna do well. Uh -huh. So I think it's definitely worth seeing. It's a summer blockbuster yeah. movie. Um, moving on though to the Purge. Uh, this is the third Purge movie in the series. This one's called Purge Election Year, which is appropriate considering mm -hmm. we are in election year. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, is more. They, they, it all has to deal with politics from the from the very beginning. It's about the government um, allowing 12 hours of all crime being legal. Mm -hmm. So wow. just 12 hours in the entire year. Um, so the, 
all of them have touched on politics just a little bit. This one is more so into politics because uh, one of the main characters is a politician who's against the purge, and then she's being targeted during purge night. Mm. So, uh, very gory, suspenseful, I very feel gory, like. thrilling. Uh, this is not for the faint of hearts. If you are not a fan of these kind of uh, over the top violence movies, this Ooh. is not going to be for you. But fans of the first two probably going to be cool with this one. But you know, does it extend? Because I feel like once you saw the first one, what else is there to do? The first, well, the first one and second one were very different with how they approached it. Uh, the first one, the family was inside their house trying to stay inside okay. and avoid people coming in. Second one was the, them trying to survive on the streets. It's going to be interesting to how they how they try to differentiate okay. this one. Uh, the next is the BFG, which is uh, a, re uh, a movie make of uh, from Steven Spielberg of the Roald Dahl classic, mm -hmm. uh, The Big Friendly Giant. Let's take a look at that. What kind of a monster are you? Bone cruncher, child chewer, meat dripper, gizzard gulper, butcher boy. Please don't eat me. You think because I am a giant that I'm a man gobbling cannibal? <laughs> Great movie for the kids. It's the big friendly giant. Yeah. Uh, and if you remember the book from your childhood, mm -hmm. and it's getting great reviews. Steven Spielberg directing. He loved the book, so he's not gonna. He's you know not gonna. Oh, so it's do good for the adults wrong. too. Right. Yeah, look, it's not gonna for the adults too. And the the animation is fantastic. Uh, next, though, I want to get to a movie that is going. So those were all open on July first. I want to get to a movie that's opening on the eighth at Burns Court, in particular, the documentary on uh, disgraced. Uh, politician Anthony Weiner. It's simply called oh, Weiner. Right. Oh yes. In his mind, he's not disgraced, but okay. <laughs> Does the wife's absence say anything? What is wrong with you? <laughs> What's he so afraid of? Your brother said that your father never hugged you. Do you believe you're suffering from any sort of addiction? What are you, the referee over there? We are staying calm and managing the situation. You're a real scumbag, Em. Takes one to know one, jackass. Why don't you just walk? <laughs> Let me just be brutally honest with you. There's no chance to win anymore. Thought it was going pretty well. It's really apocalyptic right now. But at a certain point, you've got to say, look, I don't quit. So this is a truly unprecedented access behind the yeah. scenes. This was, uh, they started filming during his 2013 mayoral run for New York City, and that is when the second part of the sexting scandal came out. Uh, he's married, of course, to uh, Huma Abedin, mm -hmm. who is the top, uh, top advisor to Hillary Clinton for years now. And it's it's really, it's, it's a heart-wrenching look yeah. at their relationship, his his chance of trying to redeem himself and that kind of being dashed with the, with the second part of the sexing scandal, I, I, I think it's you should, wow. it's probably going to be the most... Uh, I'm interested. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, I'm one definitely of, One of the most thought-provoking documentaries, yeah. whether you like them or not, it's it's really good. It paints the whole complete picture and lets you decide how you want to yeah. feel All right, well, thank you so much, Daniel. I'm loving all of these reviews. I'm going to see at least a couple of them. All right, if you want to get the complete list, list, you want to go to mysuncoast.com's entertainment page and then click on Daniel's reviews. And next, a cool procedure that can help you eliminate fat. We'll be right back. The all-new official Suncoast forecast, only on ABC7. At ABC7, it's all about being here for you. Introducing ABC7 News at 7 with award-winning investigative journalist Alan Cohn. In-depth reporting and debate on important issues and stories in our community with a featured topic of the day and a live roundtable discussion with community leaders and newsmakers. Plus, a quick recap of the day's top stories and weather. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Now more than ever, we're here for you, Suncoast. From our studios on Florida Suncoast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Haley Wilgus. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. The closest port to the Panama Canal, how Port Manatee and our local economy will directly benefit from the canal's expansion. Plus, more animals at Moat Marine, how the aquarium plans to highlight the habitats and environments of crocs and gators. Now, let's head over to Bob.
Good afternoon, everyone. 90 degree temperature right now, but with the factor in the humidity feels like 97. Lots of sunshine up and down the coast. Most of the showers inland as anticipated on a west to southwest wind, and there's not many out there. Currently the heaviest rain by far along the east coast today. A few spotty showers now and again into Manatee and Sarasota counties in the eastern portions anyway, and also into Hardy and DeSoto counties. But a little trough of low pressure to the north of us again will uh, kind of force everything inland uh, throughout the day. Tomorrow we'll have more on that coming up at 5. See you then. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota flooring today. This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Sarasota Ford. Each year during the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival, local fishing enthusiasts, boat captains, and government agencies volunteer their time to take more than 80 special needs clients out for a day of fishing on Sarasota Bay. It's called the Friendliest Catch. After a day on the water, every participant is a winner and recognized during a special lunch and awards presentation held at the Sarasota Sailing Squadron. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford because Sarasota Ford guarantees you our lowest price on every new Ford every day. Save on America's best-selling truck, 39 years running, the Ford F-150. Fusions, Escapes, over 800 vehicles on-site or online, all on sale. Buy with 0% for 60 months. And now, get up to 2,000 trade assistance. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. This is the best news ever. There is a way to change the shape of your body without extreme diets and exercise and with no surgery or downtime. Can you believe it? It's called Cool Sculpting and the FDA approved this procedure, this treatment, and it is literally, okay, they tell me it freezes unwanted fat away. Skin Smart Dermatology was the first place in Southwest Florida to actually perform cool sculpting. And with us now is Dr. Elizabeth Callahan, who just happens to be my dermatologist, <laughs> and she's done everything imaginable to my face. Now my body, can this be real? Can this be true? This actually is real, and it actually it actually works. We've, uh, we've had it for over six years. We were the first in Sarasota. Wow. Wow. It's a very simple uh, one hour procedure uh, and uh, you leave the office, uh, you can go back to work, go back to daily activities. Uh, it's actually almost as good as it sounds. Oh, how does wow. it work? Well, basically what happens is uh, the device is placed on different fat pockets on the body. Uh, it, the coolness of the device helps freeze the fat and wow. um, the fat basically is uh, shocked and injured and then over about a month or so, your body naturally eliminates bits and pieces of the fat. You really don't see a lot until about three months, then you see that all of a sudden your, your pants fit better. <laughs> wow. Oh, just that sounds like a dream yeah. come killing true. Killing the cells, killing the oh, right cells. Let's take a look at the machine now. You brought a machine I with did. you. I did. I brought the machine just to show everybody what it looks like. It's basically a large machine with a handle, if we could lift the handle up and show. And there it is. And it basically is placed, this is, our, this is Angie, our lead MA, placing the device and it goes onto the body and it actually uses suction to bring the fatty uh, area up into the device so oh. it can evenly cool it. It's there for about an hour. You'd be amazed. People take a nap, they read a book, you know, it's just not a big deal. And then after an hour, it comes off. And that's oh, it. Wow. And that's Does it, it come back? No, once you kill the fat you have, that fat can't come back. Wow. Do and can you create new fat? Does your body create new fat cells? If you no. eat more, it would. But <laughs> no, it doesn't. Your body only has. Your body can only enlarge fat cells. You can't create new fat cells. Oh, that's so, a great idea. Yeah, there you go. Oh my! So that sounds awesome. Do you have to lose all the weight you want to before you have this done? Well, not necessarily. We recommend you start to have a good program in place, mm -hmm. and this really helps you actually move along your weight loss program. Weight loss program because it helps you get rid of that that you just can't get rid of at the gym. So she was doing around the middle. Yeah. What else could you do? You can do uh -huh. um, the love handles. Yeah. Uh, you can do love handles. Mm -hmm. And um, you can do, actually, you chin. can even do the chin. And inner, you can do the inner thighs. and outer thighs. How about tummy? 
absolutely tummy. We have all different <laughs> shapes and sizes of those little handles that we can put on different parts. You know, and it's really become a customized because we've been doing this for so long in the office. We've really gotten quite good at individualizing what sizes to put mm -hmm. where, and we actually can help sculpt your body. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. That thing is I like this idea. Okay. Ooh. Let's see some before and after Let's pictures of people that had it done. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is a gentleman. We started with a man just mm -hmm. to show you kind of that stomach, that middle area. Uh, this is after one treatment. Uh, oh. One. Get one treatment probably three months later. That's the view. That's what okay. you get. This is um, wow. a lady. She had also her belly done. Um, that is, again, after uh, 16 wow. weeks. Really, I mean, Impressive. great results. This is without liposuction. And then uh, treatment two, this is another lady. She had her love handle. See how she sort of sculpted oh, on her yes. waist area? Wow. That's only And then eight. also belly. Yes, after eight weeks. That's a phenomenal result. Sometimes it that takes up to amazing. 12 weeks. But yeah, it really, it actually really works. I myself have had five hours. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I am really next in line. Yes. <laughs> so there is a special offer right now, too. Uh-huh, there is a special oh. offer, which we're going to have Angie help tell Angie, us a little bit about. Angie, tell me about that. Skin I'll be seeing you. want to know. Yes. Okay, so it's 20% off um, of one area, your choice. So we can do your, your tummy, your love handles, your back fat, your chin, and inner and outer thighs. Wow. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Sounds like a great... Deal is there me. a downtime? Do I have to take time off from work? No downtime. There, it, you're still a little tender. I went right back to work. No problem. We've she's an hour. That's a lunch Linda break. Linda doesn't want to take any time off from work because she's afraid yeah. they'll replace her. Yeah. Right back to work. I don't take time. Linda's going to take the job. Oh, thank you so much. This, this sounds, sounds so amazing. It's a yeah. dream come true. Yes, it really does work. And you guys I, are really are the experts. Six years yeah, already six have years it. Yes, yes. And that's who you want to go with. Somebody that knows how to do it. Thank you so much, Dr. Callahan. And for more information, you can go to sarasotadermatologist.com and then go to the specials page to find out about that special offer. Next, we're going to talk about viewer emails. I wonder what nasty things people have said about us. <laughs> 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 woo, woo. Tonight on ABC7 News at 7. Some people look at ways to save money. That's probably not the best way to save money. I think flood insurance is important anywhere you live in Florida. More than two-thirds of Floridians do not have flood insurance. As we enter the heart of the hurricane season, find out what kind of coverage experts recommend here on the Sun Coast. I'm Alan Cohn. We'll have that story plus our roundtable discussion. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hello, I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Don Brennan. Drinking water is supposed to be good for you, but what if there's more in your glass than just H2O? Tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast, we'll show you what's in the water of 18 million Americans that's creating a health hazard. Wendy? And water, water everywhere. For us, there could be rain in the horizon. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Hurricane season is here, and so is the official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. This essential resource arms you with vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Suncoast, including how to create your readiness plan and survival kit, shelter locations, what to do with pets, and important phone numbers. Visit mysuncoast.com and download the official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. Brought to you by the Florida Lottery. This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Florida Leather Gallery. Your support during the Grand Prix Festival makes a difference. Community Haven for Adults and Children with Disabilities is one of five area nonprofit agencies receiving support from Suncoast Charities for Children and the Suncoast Foundation. Thanks to a recent grant, a new roof was installed on their adult training facility. Special project funding like this ensures program and service money goes directly to clients who need it the most. 
Leather Gallery is celebrating the 4th of July with spectacular savings. Take 33% off hundreds of styles, experience, freedom of choice with a wide and wonderful assortment of leathers. Freedom from worry with our impressive collection of protected leathers and freedom from guilt as we proudly offer the lowest price guaranteed. Plus, free delivery. It's all happening right now. Come celebrate with our Lexperts at our six Florida Leather Gallery. We absolutely love hearing from you. You can find us online at Facebook, also My Suncoast View on Twitter. Follow us there and Instagram or email us at suncoastview at mysuncoast.com. And now Snapchat. And now Snapchat at My Suncoast View. <laughs> there you go. Viewer email. We love hearing from you. We got an email from Fran and Judy. This one is for you. Fran asked, where did you get that key lime pie, Judy? We're talking about, obviously, last week's best summer desserts on the Sun Coast. Floribian flows, and I have three in my freezer at home to bring to July 4th parties. It's fantastic. It's on the South Trail Floribian flows. Great key lime pie. Mm, delicious. We want to try it out. Well, speaking of Judy's best finds, next up, we'll be joining her in the kitchen for the best fish sandwiches on the Sun Coast. You don't want to miss it. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. We've been slow smoking over oak for more than 45 years. And while sticking to tried and true traditions is kind of our thing, it doesn't hurt to throw something new in the smoker every now and then. Come get some slow smoked chicken wings at Sunnet Barbecue. Order them as an appetizer or as part of a combo with pork, baby back ribs, or both. Starting at $10.99, Sunnet Barbecue, local pitmasters in 68. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at the top of the hour. Millions of women get it each year, but is it necessary? Why a group of medical experts say majority of women do not need pelvic exams. In our Sun Coast traffic watch, you don't see any crashes on the map now, but traffic is backed up in the northbound lanes of the interstate uh, north, I'm sorry, US 41 near Fruitville Road in Sarasota. Now over to Bob for more on the weather, Bob. Well, it's been really nice here along the Sun Coast. Beautiful beach weather again today. KC Key webcam showing uh, some cumulus clouds coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, but all in all, really quiet out there. Calm conditions out on the Gulf of Mexico and throughout the bays. Currently, we have sunshine, 90 degrees, heat index at 97, the dew point at 72, and winds out of the west southwest. Not many storms around. As I mentioned, most of the action well inland. Your complete forecast coming up at 5. See you then. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Don't miss the 32nd annual Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival, June 25th through July 4th. This year's festival features a kickoff party at the Sarasota Yacht Club, boats on main block party, two days of aquacross and powerboat racing off Lido Beach, Bayfront fireworks, and so much more. Produced by and benefiting Suncoast Charities for Children. For festival info and VIP race day viewing tickets, visit sarasotapowerboatgrandprix.org. Have you ever wondered what it's like to save a life? Find out by donating platelets at Suncoast Blood Bank. I'm Haley Wilgus, ABC7. Platelets aid in the clotting process and are vital in the treatment of cancer and surgical patients, trauma victims, and critically ill newborns. It's tough to keep enough on the shelves because they only last five days. To donate, call this number or visit scbb.org and you can help save a life. ABC7 congratulates Suncoast Blood Bank on 65 years of serving our community. On your TV, on your computer, on your camera, on your smartphone, on your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Fire TV. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News on the go. At ABC7, our entire weathercast is dedicated to the Sun Coast, and now we bring it to you like never before with the all-new official Sun Coast forecast. Beach and boating forecast. The winds will be out of the northwest at 10 knots. Now, with the most advanced graphics and technology, we bring you weather where you live, pinpointing right down to your neighborhood. Zooming into the Sarasota Bayfront, the all-new official Sun Coast forecast, only on ABC7, your Sun Coast news. We're here for you.
thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. Thursday on Suncoast View, the countdown is on to the 4th of July holiday weekend and fireworks. They're often the focus of our celebrations. The Sarasota Fire Department joins us to discuss the most common fireworks mistakes and injuries to help keep us all safe. We'll tour the Ringling Museum's new Phantom Bodies exhibit, plus a game of What's My Line with a mystery guest, and the Rosemary is in the kitchen. All right, welcome back. Right now we're in the kitchen with Chef Judy, and she's outdone herself with the <laughs> best fish sandwiches on the Sun Coast. Yum, We've yum. got everything rocking. As I mentioned, Felipe Creek Oyster Bar, what a perfect timing. They've introduced a whole bunch of new fresh fish sandwiches. The yeah. salmon panini oh. that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. but a grouper Guadalupe. Uh, they have an Asian po' boy panko crusted snapper, oh, oyster oh. aioli, oyster aioli. So think of the fried oyster flavor, a Napa cabbage slaw, a crispy Caribbean grouper wrap. That's a great way to eat a, a fish sandwich. Sandwich is as a wrap, Donnie. I see you all over that with the red cabbage <laughs> slaw, and it's so much it's fun and really pretty in their presentation. Oh, yeah. Now the old salty dog. We can't have a great yeah, fish sandwich without classic. asking the, the classic exactly. Mm -hmm. But what I like is they have the fried, they have the blackened, and they have the grilled. Venice Island, Siesta Village, and City Island. Oh, so okay. lots of good choices mm -hmm. whether you want a boat, bike, yeah. drive, whatever. But you have some really good choices, and it's the tradition at Old Salty Dog to have it fried. Oh, Just okay. saying. And I, they also you know, have all look good. Good Salty Dog, so it's good to watch. And how would you know yeah. that, yeah. Donnie? Yeah. How would you know that? <laughs> that would be good Sriracha get that kick that yeah so now we have Thai tables again out in Cortez Village bring people that come here visitors bring them out to Cortez Village old Florida. hang That's out great. it really is old yeah. Florida's best I mean this fish is coming in fresh as can be wow. I used to buy fish for my restaurants in Boston right from the boats wow. as they came in this is the same deal so there they have their delicious fried sandwich fried fish sandwich and it's so good it is so good and you know what can I say that the tartar sauce is really as important as the fish itself yes. country, and they, yeah. they make a great great tartar sauce right next to to Star Fisheries is Thai Tables, and guess what? Thai Tables buys their fish from Star Fisheries. Oh, okay. And I love that, so it's nice that they have that Connection. symbolic, they do. So we We're have ready. blackened, grilled, go for it. Linda, yeah. I see you, and I have to say their coleslaw is delicious. Side of carrot slaw, I yeah, like Linda. to take the carrot yeah. slaw and the coleslaw, put it on top mm. of the blackened oh, sandwich, so, so you get that bite. Isn't that delicious? Mm. So you have grilled grouper, you have it blackened. You also have snapper, one of my my favorite Ooh. fish is snapper, so really good. Yes, Over here, Tommy Bahamas. Now, what's fun is for this weekend, if you don't want to eat in the restaurant that ginormous <laughs> fish sandwich, you that, that you can better? get it to go. And I think the caramelized onions Ooh, add this really neat. great flavor. And again, homemade tartar sauce, pickles right on the bun. Really, and I love the bun because it's so buttery it's just they call it island it tartar soft. so it does right so a really good choice and like I said if you don't want to eat it there get it to go and then sit on the beach and that look for fireworks so right by Lido. Mm. Look how it's so it it's enormous and I've taken one down easy no problem <laughs> <laughs> and of course sandbar if you have grouper sandwich in part of your website then you have to include the sandbar. They brought over their grilled grouper sandwich with the Gamble Creek farm tomatoes that they're growing and they put chow chow on it. And that is going to be such a good sandwich. And all these are going to be a little bit better if you have a little key lime pie with them. Yeah. From oh, yeah. 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 So again, I want to talk a little bit more about yeah. Star yeah. Fisheries yeah. because when you go there, first of all, I have to tell everybody, cash only, okay? Okay. So load your pockets up with cash because <laughs> you're also going to want a side of concrete so I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. But again, I love that you get it in the box. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then you might want to go up to Anna Maria Island after. It's right near mm -hmm. the bridge. But this is, Thai table is really fun. And go into the fish market, bring a cooler. 
with freezer packs and buy some fresh fish because it is like so it. exactly so across the board everybody we have so many different okay. options go ahead you have been you two <laughs> I, I warned them first. do not eat until really I get eat there eat I have a yeah. question well, why this. is there always coleslaw paired with fried fish is this is there a theory behind this who made I this I can't help well this. actually <laughs> that's a great question <laughs> but it's know. true yes two reasons one it's in you know it's an inexpensive side but okay. two yes the cabbage and the mayonnaise traditionally you can put it right on top but it also cuts the grease of a fried sandwich oh, that's so it is a little and if refreshing. you notice but notice that now they're getting into more putting cabbage sauce yes, on the sandwiches mm -hmm. which so it shows we're going back to our roots of taking this and going like that there you go okay that's modernize about it right rise. up yep Oh, well, thank I'm you, excited. Judy. We want to dig in. I mean, I go have to try it. every single I sandwich just so I can time. know. <laughs> no, go for it. I say do it now. Show them what you got, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Don, so for being here. Thank you, thank ladies, you. for having the morning team on the show. <laughs> and Judy, it's been you. so much fun. We had a great time. Let's dig in. Yeah. And make sure yeah, you enjoy well. the Sun Coast view you know what you're missing with a side of fries yeah. and a fish sandwich. Really good. Eat. Isn't that right? What is